All right, moving on, as Halloween descended on Hong Kong, protesters took the streets wearing masks and face paint in brazen opposition to the city government's law. Face masks are banned in Hong Kong, but the protesters used the occasion of Halloween to deliberately break the law. Popular costumes included Guy Fawkes masks, the Joker makeup, and even Carrie Lamp in a dog collar and leash, symbolizing her allegiance to Beijing. Now, some protesters flashed lasers at police and shouted slogans such as Hong Kong people resist. The response from the police has now become something of a template. They fired tear gas and pepper spray in effort to disperse those who had assembled. The recent increase in violent clashes between police and protesters has also brought about a new fad in the city in the form of self-defense classes. Young pro-democracy protesters are learning rudimentary offensive tactics and how to block and dodge attacks from the police. These classes are being held once a week at the Chinese University in Hong Kong. Across in mainland China, the Communist Party released a statement after the fourth plenary session concluded in Beijing. The party reaffirmed its commitment to the principle of one country in two systems and pledged to increase central command over Hong Kong and Macau, a signal that is widely being interpreted as a warning of an impending crackdown. In the Indonesian province of Aceh, Sharia law rules all. A man behind Indonesia's flogging law was publicly whipped after he was caught having an affair with a married woman. The visuals on your screens right now show Muklis grimacing and flinching during the ordeal. Muklis, who is a member of the Ace Ulema Council, had helped draft the strict religious laws ordering adulterers to be flogged. Talking to reporters, a member of the council said that flogging a council member underlined the commitment to enforcing the Islamic law. He also stressed that no one is above the law and if you violate the law, you will get whipped. Ketika identitasnya sudah jelas, berkasnya kita penuhi dan kita sampaikan ke kejaksaan dan selanjutnya berproses sampailah pada saat hari ini kubat campur dilaksanakan. The married woman who Muklis had an affair with was also flogged about 23 times. Now, Aceh is the only province in the world's biggest Muslim-majority country that imposes Islamic law. Flogging is used as a punishment for a range of offences in the region located at the tip of Sumatra Island. It includes gambling, drinking alcohol and having relations outside marriage. The law was adopted in 2001 as part of a deal with the central government.